Hi, my name is Brooke, one of the keepers here at Billabong Zoo, and we're currently standing in front of our wombat enclosure. Here at Billabong Zoo, we actually house two different wombat species, the common wombat and the southern hairy nose wombat. The common wombat has quite a coarse fur, so it's quite rough in its texture. They have quite rounded small ears compared to our southern hairy nose wombats, which have quite soft fur and they have larger pointed ears. Now they're two of three different wombat species that we have living in Australia. There's also a third species called the northern hairy nose wombat, which is classified as critically endangered. Wombats don't have that many native predators. However, a few introduced species can be a problem for them, such as foxes. They have a really good way of actually dealing with this problem. And because they are quite a muscular animal and they have quite a solid backside, the best way to deal with this if a fox does enter their burrow is to squish them to the top of the burrow so they can escape nice and safely. For our wombats, there's lots of different things that we can do for enrichment for them. Food-based enrichment works quite well, so we do like to vary their food as much as we can. They'll get a variety of different brows. They'll get bamboo, which they do quite enjoy. Also a variety of different types of grasses as well, so we do add those into their diet. Every afternoon though, we use what we call a scatter feed. So that's just breaking their food up just into smaller portions, scattering it or hiding it around their enclosure. So little pellets that you might see that we feed them. We also use carrot and we also use sweet potato. Sweet potato tends to be a bit more of a favorite for them. And we hide that around the enclosure, which means they have to forage for it. As in the wild, they actually would spend quite a few hours of the night time as they're a nocturnal species looking for their food. So it's important to encourage those natural behaviors as well. You might also see when you come to visit us at the zoo that we also use big barrels, drums, and they like to have a bit of a roll around and jump all over those as well. So thank you very much for joining us here at the zoo. I hope you've enjoyed um, our video and learned a little bit more about our wombats. <laughs>